Good afternoon, um, I'm Michael, this is the Ed New Hub channel, and I'm bringing you news of uh, the reports that's coming through on social media about Joe Felix and Mason Greenwood possible swap deal with um, uh, Atletico Madrid. So let's see what's been said in the newspapers on Joe Felix. Uh, give me a second. Here we go. So, Joe Felix, um, newspaper articles, Man United consider Mason Greenwood swap deal with Atletico Madrid for Joe Felix, Daily Star, let's have a look at that. Manchester United are considering offloading Mason Greenwood for a swap deal with Atletico Madrid that would see ex Golden Boy Joe Felix head to Old Trafford. Now I I'm gonna quickly switch to the social media and see what's what's been said there because on social media I don't think people want Joe Felix. I think I'd rather take Mason Greenwood, I certainly would. Um there we go, Manchester United needs Manchester United considering swap deal involving Mason Greenwood. Um there's so much. Um Yeah. So let's go back. Manchester United are considering a swap team involving Mason Greenwood and Portuguese star Joe Felix. Atletico Madrid are one of the host of European clubs keen to sign Greenwood and are willing to offer United Felix in return. So I think it's more Atletico Madrid that wants Mason Greenwood and we know all the reports over the last 24 hours, Borussia Dortmund have uh, shown interest in Mason Greenwood and currently I think his hot property in Spain, he's had a fantastic season. Look, let's look at Mason Greenwood's stats. Hold on. Mason Greenwood's stats. Here we go. Mason Greenwood stats. So for Gaddafi, he's had eight goals, six assists, 33 matches. That's not bad for someone who supposedly lost his confidence. Imagine he didn't have that who are the trial and all that nonsense that went on before he got to Getafe. This guy was in his prime when all that nonsense happened. Manchester United stats. Uh, the last season, 18, go 18 matches, 5 goals, 1 assist, 7, 2020-2021, uh, 7 goals, 2 assists, 2019, to 2020, he had 10 goals, 1 assist, and he's had a continuous succession of goals, and you, you got to remember, Mason Greenwood just burst on the scene in like 2018, 2019, um, and 2019 to 2020s when he really started blossoming, it was his breakthrough season, so let's compare that to Joe Felix stats, let's compare that to Joe Felix stats, uh, here we go, Joe 
Joe Felix starts uh, 30 matches at Barcelona, 7 goals, 3 assists. Uh, UEFA Champions League, 3 goals, 1 assist. He's had a productive season, but for someone of his class, you expect, and playing at Barcelona, um, you'd expect him to do better. Um, you know, for Portugal, three goals, one assist this season. You know, it's not that impressive. Chelsea, four goals, zero assists. Atletico Madrid, you know, the same season, 2019 to 2020, uh, Joe Felix had six, six goals and one assist on Mason Greenwood on his breakthrough season outdid Joe Felix, so I, I don't see where the swap is here. Um, if they wanted to, if Atletico Madrid want to buy Mason Greenwood outright, then I think 80 million to 100 million is the right asking price for him. So, um, if Man United want to get rid of, so, uh, you know, outright, don't. Forget Joe Felix. I don't think Joe Felix is the answer for us. Um, all this nonsense I'm hearing on social media about Joe Felix this, Joe Felix that. No, no, no. That's just another... Joe Felix is a luxury signing. I might as well keep Jaden Sancho and Mason Greenwood and bring them back to the club. I don't need... I don't need Joe Felix. Um... If I'm going to sign a winger type player, go and sign Leon Bailey. You know, Leon Bailey from Villa. This guy, uh, he, he hasn't really had a mention in the Villa team and he's been integral to uh, Unai Emre's uh, way of playing that quick attacking football. Um, Leon Bailey would be ideal. Imagine Leon Bailey, Jaden Sancho, Mason Greenwood, Marcus Rashford, right? And then you got Ahmad, right, in between that. That's enough. You know, that's that should be enough. You know, sell Anthony. Get rid of Anthony. You can get rid of him. But I would keep Mason Greenwood. I would give Mason Greenwood one more season at one season at Manchester United, let him uh, show the world he, he can play on the world stage and then the following season, or in two seasons' time, sell him for 60 million in two seasons' time, two, three seasons' time. I would, give, I would bring back Mason Greenwood right now. And I hope any of us are watching, I hope they're listening, because I think we need to retain Jaden Sandor. Jaden Sancho and Mason Greenwood. Jaden Sancho possibly could win the, win the Champions League medal. I'm definitely watching that. I'm definitely going to be rooting for Jaden Sancho. And I hope all Manchester United fans get behind him. He needs it. Um, I hope any of us are working behind the scenes to sort this out. It doesn't make sense. If, if uh, Borussia Dortmund want to sign uh, Jaden Sancho on a permanent, which is what I'm hearing, then you can buy him outright for 80 million. That's what we paid. You pay back what, what we paid. Simple as. If you want Jaden Sancho, otherwise you bring him back and you and you sort it out with Eric Tenag. You talk, sort out the issue, the, the the problems, whatever, and and you get it done. I watched the ninety nine documentary on Amazon and what what they spoke about the cliff. How he was a protective bubble for Manchester United players like David Beckham. That's what we need to create, where. Players can come and feel safe and they're within a protected bubble and nothing can hurt you and nothing can harm you and you feel safe and, or, you know, it's like children. Children just want to know that you're not going to abandon them. A parent isn't going to abandon them and then the child will do as you want. I'm, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, once a child understands that uh, uh, the parent is going to abandon them at some point, then the child goes out looking elsewhere, 
it's natural, it's a natural instinct, right? The land our father denies a child's potential, the sooner the child goes looking for it elsewhere, that's a fact. You know, uh, if Eric Ten Hag is denying Sancho his potential, it means at some point he's going to go looking for it elsewhere. And we know Jaden Sancho, if there's a player there, we know there's a player in Mason Greenwood, we've seen it. I'd even go and say, bring back Angel Gomez and Tahi Chong. Tahi Chong, Jesus Christ, why did we let Tahi Chong go? I know fans still like Tahi Chong. They do like him. I think he maybe with his looks or prejudice or something. I don't know. But fans just didn't like him and they got in his case, Man United fans. And so he went to Birmingham, he went to Newton and he thrived. He's been thriving. This guy's a fucking good player. Why did we let these players go? Jaden Sancho, Tahi Chong, Ango Gomez, Mason Greenwood. Jesus Christ, man. Anyway, this is the Emmy Hope channel. I'm bringing you, bringing you this news about Joe Felix and Mason Greenwood. I don't want Joe Felix. I don't, I don't, I'm not in a swap deal for Mason Greenwood. No. Right. If, if, if Dortmund want to buy Mason Greenwood, 80 million, they're on the, on the dots. Otherwise, get lost. Right, he's contracted with Man United, and uh, and that's that. So anyway, this is Emmy Channel, Emmy Hub Channel. I'm Michael, and um, I'll see you soon. Um, goodbye.